Welcome back to another episode with PixelMeb. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the power of PHP My Admin to change some of your user credentials uh, for your WordPress powered website. Now, why would you need to do this? Let's say your website got hacked and you can no longer log into your dashboard with your the username and or email and the password that you previously had. Um, they no longer work, so now you need to you know, change your user credentials, but this, how would you do that? That's where PHP My Admin can be helpful. Uh, the way you get to PHP My Admin is you would log into your hosting account, um, go to your control panel for your web host, and then you would go to the database section uh, and look for the PHP My Admin link. Um, and then from there, you click on that, and then you'll go to the database that you need to change the uh, credentials for. Um, once you're there, you can look for the table, which is the WP users table. Um, this is the information that you will need to change. But before doing that, you're going to want to export your overall database um, since it's advisable to always do this before making any changes. Um, so you just click on the export link on top. Then you click on custom. You definitely want to zip it, get it zipped. And then you just scroll down and click on the go button and then it'll just download a copy of your database uh, to your um, to your local computer. So once that's done, you'll click on the database again. This is my YouTube database for demonstration purposes. And then you go back to that WP users table. Uh, from there, you will click on that link. It'll show you a list of currently um, registered users on your site. So you should be able to recognize your admin account, or if you don't recognize any of the users that are there, um, then you could either just delete the user or you can edit the user account. So let's edit this one here. Um, you're gonna, once you click on edit, you'll be presented with this page here. Uh, you're going to want to edit a couple of fields if needed. Uh, the email field, verify that it matches your current email address. Um, if it doesn't, you could just hide delete the one that's there and then click on go and uh, delete the one that's there, change it and then click on go. Um, and then that'll be fine. Uh, if you just need to change the password, uh, then just go to the password field here, the user underscore pass. And then this is the password that's encrypted. Um, so let's say you need to change it. You just double click on it or just delete what's there. And then you can change it to something that you needed to, uh, that you want to change it to. So I'm going to use something very simple here, um, since it's for demonstration purposes. Obviously, for your website, it should be an extremely difficult uh, password that people should not be able to guess or brute force, um, you know, attack. The best way to do that is to make sure that it's at least minimum uh, 15 characters long. Uh, multi-character, special characters, numeric characters, alpha characters, uppercase, lowercase, etc. Shouldn't be a dictionary word. Um, should be very difficult to remember. Uh, for this to work effectively, it's best to use a password manager um, since you know that will enable you to use a uh, very difficult password without actually having to remember it. But so once you put in the new password there, whatever that will be, you go into this section here, this drop down, this will come up and you'll choose MD5. Once you do that, you click on go and the change will take place. Now, this is the encrypted password. Um, you don't have to remember this string at all. It's just encrypted for your protection. Um, so now you go back to your dashboard login page and you put in the credentials that you need to. And then remember, it was an extremely hard password that I put in. Um, and then you just click on return. And now you have access to your WordPress powered um, dashboard again. So this was a quick tutorial on how to change the user credentials of your WordPress powered website uh, by using PHP My Admin. Again, before making changes, back up your database by using the export feature. Um, and then, you know, you can change the, the user credentials in that WP users table. This is where it's going to be at. If you do not recognize any user accounts, um, you can, you know, delete them from here. Uh, what I would never do from the dashboard itself 
is change the actual uh, user nice name and or um, user login name directly because your post and pages are associated with that user account. So you would want to change that in the WordPress dashboard itself. Um, so that's that. Now, once you have access, you're going to want to find out why your website, you know, was hacked. Uh, maybe it was just you had a very easy uh, password, you know, for your uh, user account. So if you make it very difficult, then it'll be that much harder for anyone to hack into it. Um, it could also be that maybe any themes that you currently have installed or any plugins that you have installed may not uh, be maintained um, by the developers anymore and they could be out of date and have security issues. If that's the case, if you notice that they have not been updated recently, go ahead and delete them and purge them from your uh, website. Find an alternative for those. Um, it could also, you know, be for other reasons. So how do you check? Uh, one way you can do that is go to a website that I recommend. It's called um, sitecheck.security.net. Uh, um, and then it's from the company that is well known for uh, being a security specialist for WordPress powered website. They offer a free website malware and security scanner. You would just paste your URL in the scan website search field here. Um, and then you can just click on the scan website and then it'll run a test. It'll see if any malware is detected, if it's, you know, if there's website blacklisting detected, injected spam, defacements. It'll see if there's a firewall. Um, it, this can give you a false reading that it might not be uh, detect the firewall because if you're not using their product, then potentially they won't detect what product you are using. I'm currently, I'm using a firewall, just not theirs at this point in time. Um, but if any of these are issues, they'll find out. They'll find out. Um, so you'll definitely want, you know, to rectify those. You can check on the website details itself, any blacklist status, um, you know, on any of these issues here. Um, so if everything comes out clean there, then maybe it was just your user credentials. Um, you could also use uh, tools like WordFence uh, Scanner. Uh, WordFence is a free uh, plugin that you can use, find in the WordPress repository. And I have a tutorial on those and I'll link to that in the, in the description section. And I'll also, um, you know, uh, recommend that you use um, iTheme Security, which is another security uh, plugin that's free that you can get from WordPress itself. Uh, so in this episode, we just went over how to change your user credentials with phpMyAdmin and how to reset your either your email address and or just your password itself so you can gain access and delete any user accounts that you may not recognize. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. Um, it gives you a little bit more knowledge on how to manage your a WordPress powered website and how to recover from a potential hack um, in that situation. It's, uh, you know, it's something that you hopefully will never uh, need to use or to, to try to resolve. But in case you do, something like this tutorial may be helpful in your particular situation. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll take a look at those. And don't forget to subscribe because in future episodes, I'll show you how to uh, manage your WordPress powered website, any plugins that I recommend with tutorials and how to's and how to install them and other aspects of, you know, uh, marketing your website uh, properly. So that way you can develop a, a rich audience and followers. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Take care.